The question that animates this volume is what is a field? But it's perhaps more appropriate to ask, what is a smiley field for various values of smiley? Now, what is that? What do I mean by that? Well, okay, a smiley field on a domain D means that at every point in that domain, you have a smiley. So, for example, if I say, what is a scalar field? then you know what that is, right? That means you have a scalar at every single point in space. And that's not so bad. You can, you can see that, you can draw pictures of that. We've worked with that all throughout multivariable calculus. But that's not all. You can also ask questions about vector fields. And we've seen vector fields before in the context of gradients. What's a vector field? At every point in space, you have a vector. And you know what those look like. You can try to draw pictures. They're kind of complicated. We'll talk more about that later. But that's a vector field. OK, so we have scalar fields. We have vector fields. What else is there? Well, I don't know. There are lots of values of smiley. What about a, a strawberry field? What's a strawberry field? That means that at every point in space, you have a strawberry. And here's a strawberry. And there's a strawberry. And oh my gosh, all the strawberries. No, make it stop. OK. It's not quite like that. You don't have an actual physical strawberry at every point in space taking up space. No, it's more abstract than that. Think about an abstract strawberry that is, is sort of floating above every point in space that's sort of attached to that point, again, in an abstract sense. And it has some, some orientation, some pose, some scale, something like that, various different features. You can do this with vectors, with scalars, with all kinds of objects. Now, that way of thinking about it is a little bit abstract. I get it. But it's also incredibly useful. Can you imagine how this would be used in things like data analysis, where you have lots of different metadata attached to points, or even different data sets as you change location in some parameter space? Man, there's so much you can do with this concept. But for now, don't panic. We're going to go slowly. We're going to stick to the kinds of fields that we know and love best. Scalar fields, vector fields, that's what's going to come up next.